From the first moments you were born a woman, you've been fed a lie, a lie about your value, about the way you need to look, about the way you need to fit into a mold created by men in order to be desirable and stand out. The longer you go without challenging this lie, the worse you feel about yourself and the lower your chances of attracting a man who loves you and sees you for you. So today, I want to reveal what is your most desirable trait for a conscious man so you can stop running around in circles and finally attract the relationship you want without wasting time. I don't have to tell you if you're a woman watching this, that there is a standard, a hidden silent standard about how you need to look to really stand out. And the standard includes multiple, but not limited to factors, including your height, your weight, your proportions, your symmetry, even the color of your skin, unfortunately. And the challenge with this lie is that we have assumed it as a society and we perpetuate it in multiple different ways. So many that it's hard to really point the finger as to where to stop this. The good news is that this stops from within when we recognize that it's not the truth of what men really seek. And it's certainly not the truth of what conscious, intelligent, grounded, loving, value adding men are wanting from a woman. And the quicker we can help each other to break each other from the spell of this bullshit, the easier time you will have to attract someone who sees you and loves you and appreciates you for who you really are. Now, my first disclaimer here is simple. I'm just a person, just a man who's sharing my ideas and my opinions based on what I've seen work in the world, based on first being a man, having the heart inside of me that feels attraction, but two, from having the blessing of having helped hundreds of women around the world who have gone from not attracting the types of relationships and men they want to finally attracting relationships that are fulfilling, that are nurturing, that are long lasting, that are committed. So if the women I've helped have been able to attract men based on these ideas and the embodiment of these principles, I have a hope that you can do it too. And I have a hope that in addition to this being something that allows you to attract an amazing conscious man into your life, Fundamentally, and before doing that, it will add more value to your life. It will create a stronger feeling of self-worth and additionally will help you live your best life. So here you go. The number one trait that a conscious man is looking for is going to be, and it's a long word and I'll explain it a little more deeply, is your uniquely fulfilled, self-expressed, high value radiance. I'll say it again and I'll write it down here so you can see it. Your uniquely fulfilled, self-expressed, high-value radiance. So what does that really mean? Well, I'm going to go step by step. The first one is uniquely fulfilled. Uniquely fulfilled has two parts to this. One is celebrates your uniqueness, celebrates your differences, celebrates the specificity that you and only you, my dear, bring to this world in the way that you bring it. That you become friends with that parts that other people call weird and you become really in tune with the beauty and the magnificence and the miracle that is you being a different human being who has quirkness, who has uh, a way of looking at the world that is very specific, who has strengths. Sometimes those strengths don't come out as frequently to play because of fear of being rejected. But that's the essence of that part, the uniqueness of you. Fulfilled means that you're a human being, you're a woman who takes life in her own hands, who is not waiting and holding her breath thinking that the moment the guy comes, your life will be complete. Challenges will begin in a different way and life can be better if he's the right person, but your life starts now. Your life is full now. Your life is fulfilled now. If you create that life, if you create a life of meaning, if you create a life surrounding yourself with people you love and with things you love and with actions of service that make you feel healthy and make you feel happy, and make you feel joy, then that is the foundation with which you can create a relationship that is going to be long lasting and fulfilling and healthy. I'm not trying to say with this that you have to get all your shit together before you enter a relationship because no one really ever does until death. We're all a work in progress and we're always working hard at becoming better human beings. But what I'm saying is that 
if you start a relationship from the foundation of you celebrating your uniqueness and your differences instead of hiding them and you being someone who works really hard at creating a life of meaning and fulfillment, then the type of man who will be attracted to you, the type of man you'll choose or tolerate will be exponentially different than if in the back of your mind, the Cinderella story of when the Prince Charming comes to rescue me, my life will now be sunshine. It will go from being under a dark cloud to sunshine. I know that you may not be saying with those words, but if there's a part of you, a mythical part of you that's connected to this idea that life will flourish and shine when it's not shining before, it's a lie. So the more you connect with this version of you, the better your chances of really standing out in the eyes of someone who will hopefully, if you're choosing him right, will be doing his own version of that in his own life. The second part of this is self-expressed. Self-expressed is going to contain a few different elements. First element is openness. Openness to life. Openness to a way of showing up in the world that invites people into your energy field instead of pushes them away. It includes, obviously, expression, but expression is the ability for you to share, shine, say what you need to say, verbally and unverbally, not without fear, because I don't think that exists, but with a concentrated feeling of courage versus fear. A little bit more courage than fear will do the trick. Vulnerability right? Vulnerability, which the great Brenner Brown talks about, the three different elements, uncertainty, risk, and emotional exposure. The ability to host yourself emotionally, knowing that you could be rejected, knowing that you could be ridiculed, knowing that somebody can say, it's completely not for me, but also knowing that that could create the biggest drive, the biggest connection, the biggest draw from the right person who sees you as a human being who feels and he's hard who wants to add value, can see a way to connect with yours. Now, before I share the last two parts of how this formula works, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that even though you've been watching videos and doing some self-study, you may not be fully aware of the true reason, the core reason you're still seeing. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every continent, every walk of life, every love challenge you can imagine, create the connection that they want finally. And I put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link on the description of this video. You will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the question why you're still single and a report that's going to share with you based on your specific mind spots, what is the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse the trend you've been on and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. So we're at the part of talking about high value. What does high value include? It includes a few elements. It includes standards. Not just standards for what you hope and expect in a guy, but standards for you, the way you show up, the way you express, the way you communicate, the way you see connection with others. Clarity of values. The clearer you are with your values, the easier it's going to be for you to show up high value because high value to a certain guys will be different, right? If you have a specific set of values that you embrace and work hard to step into and live up to, then a guy seeing you from a distance and connecting with you and asking questions and recognizing those things he values most will also elevate your value in his eyes. And you're not doing it to be more valuable in his eyes. You're doing it because you understand that when you show up this way, your life is better. And the third part of this is going to be Boundaries. I've talked about this in so many different videos, but here it goes again. Boundaries is, is going to be your capacity to clearly express in non-threatening but firm ways what you say yes to and what you say no to, what goes and what doesn't. When you have this combination of standards, clarity of values, and boundaries, that is the high value part that any man who's conscious, intelligent, and has his own values is seeking. Why? Because he wants a woman who's willing to say no. He needs a woman who's willing to say no. If the guy doesn't feel that you can say no, he, at some level in the back of his mind, is going to lower his value of you in his book and either not be interested or take advantage of you in a way that's not going to be healthy for you or him without him wanting to. Just the nature of the way human beings work. If you don't express what you want, then it's just going to be his way. And that's the road for an unfulfilling relationship at best. Last part of this is radiance. Radiance means your light, your spark, that thing that he cannot get on his own if he wants to. The ability for him to connect with a part of you 
that is fulfilling in the best of ways, life-changing, life-altering. You can take a guy who's having a horrible week and a radiant smile coming from you can shift his perspective, reconnect him to the nature of what beauty is, true beauty is, and allow him to see the light differently. So your expression of that part of you that we all crave, that part of you that makes your expression be not just unique, but also feeling the room with your presence. So here's the punchline. I need you to going forward, if you like what you hear and you're willing to embrace this versus more Botox and tighter ass and more exercise, not for the purpose of health, but for the purpose of being more attractive and things that are painful in nature and unnecessary. If this resonates more with you, to make a solemn promise to yourself that going forward, you will refuse to engage with men in connection of this relationship seeking adventure who are valuing the Barbie trophy wife type of experience and you will only connect with guys who can see the inner beauty in you and the outer beauty in you and the combination of those are things he wants to step into. If you make the decision, you will rule out a few men from your life, even some men that you might by the book consider really intelligent and really awesome men, but in principle and in practice, don't really show up that way. Hope this is helpful and useful. If it is, it would mean the world to me and to my channel because this is how I get to reach more women and help more women. Click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation games, or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.